Hi, welcome back to my channel. This book review is for It All Comes Down to This by Therese Ann Fowler. I had this as an audiobook review, so the audiobook um, narrator was Barry Krynick, Barry being a woman because it's B-A-R-I-E. And she was a good narrator because she narrated three sisters, Beck, Claire, and Sophie, as well as other characters. Now, this book is called A Warm, Keenly Perceptive Novel of Sisterhood Heartbreak Home and What It Takes to Remake a Life at Its Halfway Point and for fans of Anne Pratchett, Patchett and Emma Straub. Now, unfortunately, I haven't read anything by these authors at this point, but I will because I'm constantly looking for new authors, new names, new titles, even new genres. Well, this, <coughs> excuse me, was a women's fiction. In the title, it all comes down to this, was about these three Gala sisters, again, Beck, Claire, and Sophie, if I haven't already said it, whose mother, Marty, is about to pass away. Now, Marty is in like a hospice type situation, and she makes a decision that she doesn't want her, to, her daughters to see her die, so she doesn't let them know when it gets to that point. Well, now Marty has indeed passed away, and now she has an estate that has to be sorted out among the three sisters. So what's going to happen with her estate, it's not a lot, but it's enough that it should help the women in their lives and they all need help one way or another. One of the things is a family cottage and that's where the girls get together and uh, the mother, Marty, her intent was that this cottage, which was in Mount Desert Island, Maine, would be sold and the proceeds would be split evenly amongst all three girls. That's the intent, that's the goal, and maybe the girls who had their relationship had been damaged over the course of years, perhaps they will come back together. So who are these girls? Well, we have Beck, she's the oldest. She's a freelance journalist whose marriage is uh, very, very uh, vanilla. It's kind of like she's living with her brother or her roommate. There's no, there's no, you know, there's nothing. And then we have Claire, who's a pediatric cardiologist who has recently gotten divorced. And for years, she's been in love with somebody that she cannot have. Then we have the youngest daughter, Sophie, who has what appears to all concern a perfect life. She, she's an Instagram influencer. She has great friends, uh, a glamorous life, travel, celebrities, fashion, sex, everything. But she's cash poor and her life isn't what she thought it was. And then we have somebody who else enters into the picture and that's CJ Reynolds. And that affects what happens to the future of these three sisters. Now, I already read this here that said that this book would be a perceptive novel of sisterhood, heartbreak, home, and what it takes to remake a life at its halfway point. Well, I felt it was very dramatic, and which is, which is fine because it's women's fiction, but it wasn't something that I loved. As a matter of fact, I'm only going to give this book three stars. And I, I will say that I curate my books and I'm really, I'm pretty good at selecting books that I know that I'm going to like. So when you watch my reviews or you read my book reviews, you're going to see a, a lot of four and five star reviews. Well, unfortunately this one is going to get three stars and it's getting three stars because of the type of drama that involved these women now you know when with a lot of families and no judgment but with a lot of families is we get caught up in our everyday lives and we don't see each other often it sometimes takes a huge uh dramatic event for people to come back together and that's what happened with these girls. What brought them back together was the death of their mother. Had their mother not been ill and passed away, they very likely would have just continued to remain distant. Meanwhile, we find that 
not only were they physically distant, but they're emotionally distant. And they're all completely different, different issues, different scenarios, different struggles, even different feelings with the loss of their mother. And then one other thing is the mother had intended for that cottage to be sold so that each child could get a nice chunk of change or each each adult daughter could get a nice chunk of change well do they want to sell do they all want to sell do they need the money okay now good characterizations i'm not gonna i'm not gonna fault the author there good like i said excellent characterizations but the drama like especially the drama between beck and claire that's kind of heartbreaking to me for very personal reasons. So I, I, I struggle with that. And then you have the messiness of marriage, divorce, separation, unrequited love, distance, mistakes, just a lot of drama was written into this book. And so I, you know, I'm not going to go more than three stars. And I'm sorry, I, I just can't. It's not common for me to make videos with less than four stars, but I have to be fair. And in my fairness, I felt that this book is only worthy of three stars. Of course, you could feel completely different. And I'm just curious. I'm going to Goodreads right now. The general consensus of... 133 reviews so far because the book is not out yet it won't be out till june 7th it's 3.63 rate um average ratings so my rating isn't too too far off now the book is going to get into more hands as more reviewers read it and then more of the general public read it and i could be way off in my assessment and i will come back and check um and we'll we're going to leave it at that the book doesn't come out to june 7th so this video is being made uh, a month ahead of time but i will go ahead and schedule it and get it posted as soon as i can all right thank you bye bye